7 Reasons Why Narcissists Don't Love Bomb Love bombing is where the narcissist subjects their target to excessive attention, admiration and affection. The purpose of it is to make you feel dependent on them, to make you feel as though you owe them something in return, which is highly effective on empaths. Because if someone gives us their time and energy, we naturally feel obligated to return the favour. It's instinctual, it's almost outside of our control. So when we're being love bombed by a narcissist, it's very powerful. It's like we can't rest. Unless we know that they are pleased and satisfied with us, we have this innate need to ensure that they are safe and comfortable. And at times it can feel like a curse. Because it's like no matter what we do they're never happy. So we often blame ourselves. We feel insecure. We try to be better or different. And we may even yank our personalities inside out. In an effort to please them. But to no avail. Because they have a void that can never be filled. No matter what you do, they're never going to appreciate you. They will always end up taking you for granted. And then they will devalue and degrade you. They will leave you feeling like you're worthless and beneath their consideration, which is just projections of how the narcissist feels about themselves. But as empaths, we take it to heart. We self-loathe and then we strive to be better which sets us up for the cycle of abuse where we're running endlessly on this hamster wheel in an effort to please them but no matter what you do it doesn't make a difference they're never going to be satisfied and you will always be left to blame yourself or they will blame you because they're not going to take any accountability which is the perfect setup for an empath they know exactly what to do to drive us insane but at least, at the beginning of the relationship, they often love bomb their targets. And although it may just be a shared fantasy or shared psychosis, in that moment it feels like for the first time in our lives, someone actually cares about us. Someone wants to get to know us. Someone sees us. Someone knows that we're alive. But sadly for some victims, you won't even get that. They won't even love bomb you. And that can really play on your mind and affect your self esteem. Especially if you've been watching these videos and you've discovered that other victims have been love bombed. It may make you second guess yourself. And you may feel like something is wrong with you. As though you're not even worthy of being love bombed. Which is why I decided to create this video. To let you know that you are not alone. And that there are other victims who go through this. But you should know that being love bombed by a narcissist. Is not something to be proud of. It has nothing to do with love. It's abuse. Victims who are love bombed are exploited. They're treated in an unfair and selfish way. And they're manipulated and deceived into believing that it's love, which can really mess with a person's mind. So with that being said, there were reasons to feel grateful for not being love bombed. As that could have really put you under their spell. But if that's not enough to comfort your soul, here are seven reasons why narcissists don't love bomb. One, pride. Some narcissists just have too much pride to put themselves in that type of situation. They can't be vulnerable. 
they probably view intimacy as being disgusting, as something repulsive and sickening. Which is why you may have noticed that whenever you tried to be affectionate with the narcissist, they always turned away from you or made up excuses, because they have too much pride. 2. They assume that you're too smart. Love is for fools, or at least that's what narcissists believe. They see love as a weakness, or as something that is beneath them. And they will only use it to exploit those who they believe are vulnerable to it. If they think you're going to see through it, they won't waste their time. Love bombing is reserved for those who they believe are going to be susceptible to it. So if you're someone who is able to detect it, or even confront them on it, they won't bother doing it. They're not going to expend their energy on something that will inevitably fall apart. Three. Arrogance. Narcissists have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They believe that they are superior to you. As though they're the best thing since sliced bread. So they expect you to see it as a privilege just to even be around them. They expect you to fall to their knees. Just because they're physically attractive. Or they have some other desirable quality. And at times they're so wrapped up in their delusions of grandeur that they can't even see that they may actually pose as a liability to you. But if they are aware of that they will hold back. And they may save their love bombing for someone who they deem to be more foolish. You're already primed for the abuse. You've already been groomed from a past relationship or trauma. You've already been prepared and trained to be a source of supply to the narcissist. So there's no need for them to love bomb you. They could just carry on from where your previous abuser left off. Which is seen as attractive and efficient to most narcissists. Because they don't have to put in so much work. You're ready for them to do what they do to you. And you may be more likely to tolerate it. Because for many victims it may be all you've ever known. 5. They don't have the means or the skill. The narcissist may not be able to find a method or a way to love bomb you. You may be very resistant to it. So there's just no possible way for them to conduct it. Maybe they're not very charming or charismatic. They may not know how to seduce you or they may not be physically attractive. In some situations, they may not have any money. Maybe they're struggling to take care of themselves. So it's a bit of a stretch for them to take care of you in that way. Or they may have some form of means or skill. But they don't think it's going to be enough. They think you won't be satisfied. So they don't want to put themselves in a position. Where they could be rejected or humiliated. They have too much pride. So instead they will hold back on the love bombing. And they will go straight into tearing you down and making you feel insignificant. But when they do that, just know that it's nothing more than a projection of how they feel about themselves. 6. Envy. The root of narcissistic behavior is envy. 
Without envy it would not be possible. They targeted you because they decided to take something from you, not because they were trying to help you or build a relationship with you, although that is how they will often portray it. But in some situations they have so much envy towards their target that they can't even bear to love bomb them. They can't even stand the thought of you being the recipient of their admiration or affection that alone just seats them up inside. So instead they will just skip it and go straight to the devaluation. Seven, they've already been exposed to you. If the narcissist was already exposed to you from the very beginning and you already knew what you were dealing with, they're not going to waste their time love bombing you. It wouldn't make any sense because you already know who they are. You already know what they're about. When that type of treatment is reserved for those who are unknowing, those who don't know what is about to happen. So if they've already been exposed, or they know that you know, then you are exempt to the love bombing, because they already know that you're going to be immune. It's not going to be effective on you. And this may irritate them and make them feel inferior to you because they're so used to people falling at their feet to where they may develop an obsession with you and they will want to tear you down because you're constantly reflecting back to them that they can't love bomb you so they're not even going to try. But as long as you're at peace with yourself it just winds them up because it just reveals what the problem is in that situation. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.